Setting up a default transition in Final Cut Pro is really simple. First of all, you open your transitions panel by clicking Shift Command 5, right click on the transition you want and click Make Default, and that's it. Now you can add this transition anywhere you want in your timeline by clicking on the edge of a clip and click Command T. Think of T as transition to remember this keyboard shortcut. But before you close this window, I have one more thing to show you. Sometimes when adding a transition, this window will appear. And you might have wondered why this happens, and I'm going to show you why. If you undo these transitions by clicking Command Z, you can see that these edges turns red when clicking on them, and these edges turns yellow. What that tells you is that these clips are not shortened in any way. If you try to make it longer, nothing will happen. These clips, on the other hand, that turns yellow when clicking on them, are shortened. This makes it much easier to add a transition to them and overlap these two clips without changing the length of them. What happens when trying to add a transition here is that a window will pop up basically telling you that it doesn't have anything to overlap with. You can still add the transition, but as the window says, this will decrease the total duration of your project. So click create transition and take a look at the end of this project and you will see how it gets shorter. So what happened here is that the program took parts of both clips, putting them on top of each other, making this overlap possible. You can also change the default length of your transitions by going to Final Cut Pro, Preferences, Editing, Transitions. Click up or down to change it, or double click on the numbers and write whatever length in seconds you want your transitions to have and press enter. Your existing transitions will not be affected, but every transition you add from now will have that length. Thank you for watching, make sure to hit the subscribe button if this video helped you, and comment below what you want me to cover in the next video. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.